Welcome to my video everyone. I started melting metal outside in my woods last week and I kind of enjoyed it. So today I'm going to fill this with water and pour molten metal into it. I've done it before but not in a 55 gallon drum. So I recently picked up these chairs off the side of the road. Today I'm just going to be melting the two of them. This one has the netting in the middle, the plastic caps, and the screws. And this one has a bunch of little tiny screws and some rubber backing that I just have to remove. Now my backyard is really getting overrun with scrap metal that I've just been collecting. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of melting and if I do melt it, it's just not enough. I, I'm not melting enough metal to keep up with the metal that I'm bringing in. So this chair has now been disassembled and ready to melt. Now I'm just going to start taking the caps off the other chair, cut the netting, and easily slide the netting out of the groove that it's in. I actually like the design of how the netting slides into this aluminum groove for the chair to hold it into place. It's uh, pretty genius actually. And then there's the flathead screw. Who likes flathead screws? Nobody. Nobody likes flathead screws. So now it's time to prepare my furnace for today's metal melt. I always like to put a piece of cardboard underneath the crucible. This helps prevent the crucible from sticking to the plinth on the bottom. So let's get ready to light this furnace. Five minutes or so I'm going to be melting down my first chair into this furnace. So sit back and relax and enjoy the sound of metal melting in the backyard. As you can see, I didn't think this through all the way, and I couldn't get the rest of the chair 
into the furnace. So I decided to take a really large hammer, try to break it up. Probably would have worked better hitting it against a solid surface instead of the ground. Out of gas. I gotta switch my tanks. Time to remove some of the slag off the top of the puddle of molten metal inside the crucible. So I'm going to warm up my spoon and the container that I hold the slag in before putting a cold spoon in really hot metal. I've never done it, but I don't want to do it either. It's probably pretty dangerous. You may have noticed that I'm actually scooped the bottom of the cruiser. That's because some of the slag is on the bottom as well, not just the top. Let's add some cans to the mix. Who doesn't like to see aluminum cans melt? You may have noticed that the crucible is higher than the last clip from the cans. That's because after the cans, I actually finished melting the first chair. I didn't include the footage because, I mean, really, how much footage do we need to see of a chair melting in a furnace? So I'm going to finish off removing the slag from this crucible, and I'm going to pour it into the drum.
first chair done. guys so I got one more pour um, the first one did not come out as I planned but some of it did some of it's still in the bottom of the drum but I got one more pour so this time I'm gonna try to pour a little bit slower and maybe try to spread it out a little bit and see, see what happens try not to get something like this we'll see so now I'm melting down the second chair again it's not gonna be a lot I'm just gonna throw a couple clips in here from the chair and in this one you can see the groove on this leg where that fabric slid into again really cool design I like how it was made the unfortunate part is the fabric doesn't last very long the Sun really does some damage to it so now it's time to remove the slag one last time from the crucible before I do my last pour which I will pour slower I'm also going to let the crucible set a little bit before pouring to try to cool off the molten metal because I think that would help too. After pouring, I always like to clean out the crucibles. And of course, in this case, there's a lot of slag on the bottom that I like to remove before storing this or putting it back into my garage for next time. All right, it's time to see how it came out. And you can see I took some of the water out so I can show you guys up close and personal these nice aluminum little pebbles I guess you can call them aluminum pebbles oh and some chunks from my first pour are still in there too but these little pebbles are super cool easy to fit in my electric furnace definitely nice to have other than big solid ingots a variety of metal to melt in the future.